plan for today is to try out this switch pod, do a bit of a review, kind of a first impressions type thing. Up until now, I've just been handheld vlogging, which for anyone who's done it, knows it's a pain in the ass. And the arms are taken after a while and you can't get quite far enough away from yourself to get a decent kind of angle. So hopefully this will solve some of my problems. I was gonna go for a gorilla pod, but I've heard and seen a lot of horror stories with them legs becoming a bit unstable camera's falling over and I wasn't really bothered about being able to hang it from a tree or a fence. I've never done it before so why would I suddenly do it now? So yeah, the plan is to get out of the lakes, do a vlog with a switch pod, see what I think, do a kind of a review, hopefully get some nice pictures today. It is a nice day, very blue skies which isn't, you know, ideal for photography because we all chase that mood but we'll see how we get on. The plan today is to go up a fell called Black Crag, which is a great little fell just past Coniston. Parked up, we're going to head up there now. We've come a bit of a weird way for anyone who knows the area because I'll be honest with you, when we were driving up, I spotted a bird of prey. I wanted to try and get a shot of it. But it looks like it's either hidden away from me or it's gone. For anyone who knows me knows I'm not the luckiest when it comes to wildlife photography. I don't have the patience for it or the luck. So yeah, another failed attempt at getting a nice shot of a bird of prey, but never mind, we'll keep an eye out, we might get one. So yeah, next stop, head up Black Crag. And when I say we, I of course mean June, who's with me, as always. So yeah, we'll get some nice B-roll of her running around. So I bought the Switch Pod version without the ball head. One, it was a little bit cheaper, and two, I didn't think I need that kind of tilt and action on it. And so far, it's proven right. So I'm really happy with the angle that it's given me so far. So we'll see how we get on though, but first impressions are, it's a nice secure fit onto the camera and it's not going anywhere. I mean, shaking it about, it's going absolutely nowhere. I had to very quickly stop the vlog there for a second because as I was blabbering on about this new switch pod, I could hear some birds in the distance kicking off and I thought they were just regular bog standard blackbirds or crows or whatever they were. Turns out it was two blackbirds fighting the bird of prey. So I uh, quickly put the switch pod down, un unscrewed it, switched lenses got to get my 70 to 200 on. And it was a very quick and easy process, which I was very happy about. I think I got a couple of shots of the bird. I'm not entirely sure at the minute if they're any good. I'll have a look when I get back. But if they are any good, I'll put them up on the screen here. Fingers crossed, there's somewhat shareable there. If not, then let's just move straight on because it looks like there's some birds of prey knocking about today. So even if the landscape's looking a bit rubbish with these blue skies, we might get some nice wildlife images. So let's see how we get on. So it's a big thumbs up for me for being able to quickly change from vlogging mode with a wide angle lens, lens with a switch pod on to putting it down, unscrewing it, getting the telephoto on and being able to shoot some wildlife. It was within a few seconds it, the self was completely changed and I was able to fire off some images and then back to vlogging mode again within a few seconds switching the lenses oh nearly fell really impressive bit of kit so far I'm not seeing any cobs yet but we'll see by the end of the day if my arm's killing me and <laughs> yeah it might not be that comfortable but we'll see how we get on a, a, a few hours of hiking in the lakes but yeah thumbs up so far I was researching about the switch pod or the gorilla pod, which one to buy. I found that the biggest criticism aimed at this bit of kit was the lack of flexibility in the legs. So the gorilla pod you can bend into a shape to get it to balance on a wall or you can wrap it around tree branches, that kind of thing, whereas the switch pod is fixed. But I've never had to do that before. I've never had to wrap my camera around a tree branch or around a fence before. So why would I suddenly start doing it now? So I like the way the switch pod is fixed legged and because of what I'm shooting in the lakes there's always going to be a flat bit of ground um, a flat bit of wall something that I'll be able to place this on and record what I need to I'm not going to suddenly turn into Tarzan start looking for trees to climb to wrap the gorilla pod around <laughs> just to get the angle I'm pretty sure I'm going to be okay with this anyway enough about the switch pod for a second quick wildlife update I have not seen a thing since that chaos at the start of the video. 
where the buzzard or whatever it was was taking on them ordinary birds. Hopefully when we get up towards the Black Crag summit we'll see something because I've seen birds prey up there before. And I'll tell you what, even if we don't get any more wildlife or anything like that, at least we've got the views. I mean, the lake is looking incredible. So we got to the summit Black Crag. The place is looking pretty awesome. I mean, looking down towards Hawk's Head over my shoulder. It is a crispy blue day. Beautiful day. Still no sightings of any birds of prey at the minute. We we're gonna hang around here for a little bit, chill out, have a drink. June's doing her usual rolling around like a little nutter <laughs> when she gets to a summit. So yeah, we're gonna have 10, 15, 20 minutes. I don't know, see how we get on. Soak up a bit, bit of sun, have a break, have a drink. I might even get the drone out. It's too nice of a day not to. June, what are you doing? She's literally right next to the camera. <laughs> so yeah, insert drone footage here. Dawn as you can see behind me, the summit, great day out, the switch pod survived its first late district vlog and I'm going to give it a solid 9, 9.5 out of 10. It's not 100% perfect, especially with it being just the first version of this switch pod, I believe they're bringing out some more in the future, but overall I'm very impressed, it's what I was, everything I was hoping it was going to be. I haven't been let down. The magnets are a little bit weak, but I understand why, so that you can quickly release the switch pod when you want to put it down. So it's make it difficult. But yeah, overall, very impressed. Bird watch update. Haven't seen anything while we've been up on the Black Crag summit. It's a shame, but we're gonna head back to the car and hopefully we'll find something near to where we saw originally at the very start of this walk. So fingers crossed. If there is anything I do spot on the way down. I'll tag it on the end of this video. If you hit that like button, that'd be amazing. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help. We're trying to get to the magical 50 subscriber mark. We're not far off, I think, as of recording. We're at 49, let's get to 50. Halfway through the year, that'd be a good little milestone. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. So we've come to the end of the video and the walk, and I've realized I've not taken a single landscape image today. And considering that I'm calling this a landscape photography channel, that's just not acceptable. So here is a token landscape image that I've just taken of Langdale Pikes and Crinkle Crags and the surrounding fells. Hope you like it. Now we're done. <laughs>